This week's feature story is about a man who's been in the logging business for over 40 years. He's the present Mississippi Forestry Association Outstanding Logger of the Year. Now it's not the size of his operation, the amount of production, or the equipment he has that sets him apart. Freddie Wallace has something that money simply can't buy, a reputation. A reputation he's earned through honesty and good work. Our feature first aired last October. It takes us near Bogachitta and Brookhaven in southwest Mississippi. Freddie Wallace refers to himself as a dying breed. Others may call him old school. Oh, I was 14 years old and, you know, I was, I was pretty well running a power saw too at that time. Started out hauling stick put wood from the start, you know, and, uh, and then I progressed on and started full-time logging about 1977, I guess. Freddie's logging operation is small, just himself and employee Chris Davis. The equipment is older and what some may describe as below average, but it's serviceable and dependable and completely paid for. What's perhaps most important here is what you can't see, an outstanding reputation. Consequently, Freddie Wallace never lacks for work. In the last two months, I've had over 10 people want me to cut timber for them and I have to tell them no because I you know I, I just I'm trying to get to what I got you know. I think he feels a you know a, a needed niche in our area for you know a smaller logger that can you know help out these landowners with 10, 20, 40 acre little tracks that need uh, you know little tender loving care on them and he can do whatever whatever he needs to do. On this job near Brookhaven, Freddie Wallace is doing a first thinning. It's the type of harvest he specializes in and is hired to do most of the time. With a small crew and lower production, it's easy here for the focus to be on the main goal, pleasing the landowner. You don't have people as small as we are anymore that's gonna take a stand of volunteer timber and go in there and pick it. And you can do that with a smaller operation and a machine that is movable. Freddie personally looks at each track and decides the best way to harvest and remove the timber while having the least amount of impact on the property. He has his master logger certification and follows Mississippi's best management practices on every job. We were able to visit a recent thinning of his that was near completion and we could tell that he knew down to the every last detail of the management plan that the landowner wanted and can tell that he went the extra mile in, in accordance to BPs by BMPs, sorry, that he generously spread slash on the skid trails and respected the stream side, stream side management zones for two examples. We uh, normally cut, like I said, we cut 100% public land. And like I told you before, uh, most of it um, is my neighbors, people that I know. And, uh, you know, I, I want to treat their land just like it was mine. Mr. Freddie, was just, he just operates a little bit different. He's a small operator, two to three loads a day. He loves people. He loves making people happy. And uh, when you can work five minutes from your house pretty much all the time and go home for lunch, uh, you've got a good reputation and a good name. And that's Mr. Freddie. Chad Smith is not exaggerating. Freddie's work is generally so close to home that his wife, Kathy, prepares lunch every day, and he and employee Chris Davis are able to eat at the house. Freddie Wallace's good reputation means customers have to put their name on a waiting list if they want him to cut their timber. Most of the landowners on the list are repeat customers and are having to wait to get their job done, but no one's complaining. Uh, he takes every job very serious. Uh, he, he looks out for the customers more than looks out for himself, to be honest with you. I got a couple of hundred acres I need thinning, but he can't get to it here for the next year for a separate reason that he's done promises, even though me and Freddie and Chris are real good friends. I think the world of them just like they was my brothers. Even though he done committed somewhere else, he won't break his commitment just to come over here and cut my, my timber. And I don't blame him. I, I wait on him. 
you can't ask for an individual that's got more concern for his community and takes pride in what he does on the job. He's well thought of, well respected, as well as anybody that I know of in this area. And it's because of the way he's treated people and the way he's dealt with them over the years. If you want a job well done, you need to wait on it. We, we can take the time to pick and choose which trees to cut. We don't have to, you know, have a straight road because it takes longer to weave around through there with a the cutter and the skitter. But we're not on high production, so we, we can take the time to do it. Chris Davis is Freddie Wallace's only employee and shares Freddie's passion for making the landowner happy. Chris and his wife Emily have two children, a daughter Kaylee and a son Trent. Chris operates the skitter on the job site and has worked for Freddie for 18 years. However, their relationship goes back farther than that. His daddy and uh, uh, some more of my friends used to help me logging a lot. Chris used to go to the woods with me and his daddy and him about five and six years old. As we worked in the woods all day, uh, he had a Tonka truck and he built him a log trailer to go on it with a fifth wheel pin down in it and had a log trailer on it. And as we worked in the woods, bringing wood all day, he stayed up there by the bunch of ground by the truck. And that evening when we come up there, he also had him a knife that had a saw blade on it. And when we come up there that evening, he had him a load of logs on his truck. He had sawed with that knife during that day, had it romped up just like you would see on those trucks. It wasn't too many years later that Chris began working part-time for Freddie, and the rest, as they say, is history. I think it was ninth grade, I started getting out of school at dinner time, and I'd leave school and go to the woods and then on, all day on Saturday. And then after I graduated, I've been here every day, every day since. The used skitter that Chris operates today was purchased fairly recently. Up until 2013 or so, this crew was still skidding with farm tractors every day. I bought, I've had three tractors over the years. Uh, one 830 John Deere, and I had a 2030 John Deere and a 4020. And for all these last 25 years, we logged with uh, the uh, two tr bigger tractors, you know. The small tractor, the 2030, we made a homemade grapple to put on it. And, uh, and it, actually, it took us a while to get the kinks out of it, but when we did, it's worked for years and years. And Actually, the breadwinner of this operation was that 2030 tractor with the grapple. While Chris drives the skidder on each job site, Freddie operates the three-wheel cutter and runs the knuckle boom loader. They are both very experienced operators and do their work in an extremely safe manner while looking out for each other. It's a team effort that's paid off. There has not been a lost time accident in 45 years. Uh, I load the truck and then we both uh, uh, trim it or whatever, tie flag, throw change. Or he does most of that because usually I'm give out anyway, but I drive the truck to the mill and when I get to the turn in on the yard, I let him have it to go unload. And he unloads and has been doing it for years. We both go. I mean, I don't leave Chris here working in the woods by himself and we both go. Prior to being selected as Mississippi's Outstanding Logger of the Year, Freddie Wallace was honored as Lincoln County's Outstanding Logger for 2015. Freddie is described by his nominators as very humble and quiet. He is finding all the attention to be a little bit uncomfortable. In all my expectations, could I have never even thought this? Uh, like I said, I think it's being good to people and, uh, you know, people be good to you and that's what has been my intention my whole life. From Brookhaven, Mississippi, I'm Leighton Spann reporting. And you can watch this story again on Freddie Wallace at the Farm Week website or on the Facebook page or our YouTube channel, our website, farmweek.msucares.com. And you can find our fan page at facebook.com slash farmweekusa. And artists, some big changes in this story since October, Chris Davis, left. Chris Davis no longer working with Freddie after 18 years. 
So Freddie is now a one-man crew, but he's also had another big challenge, the uh, main mill there in the Brookhaven area, not accepting pine timber right now. Mm -hmm. So a um, couple of hurdles, and he's probably only cut about 20 or 30 loads of wood since first of the year. Not good to hear.